Dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss fertilization and development of cycon cipher. Very important topic for BSc final exam. प्यारे बच्चों ये जितने भी हमने नोट्स बनाए हैं उन सब की बेटे पी डी एफ फाइल हमने वीडियो लेक्चर उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन में अपलोड कर दिए सभी बच्चे अपने नोट्स बेटे डाउनलोड कर ले प्यारे बच्चों हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं बी एस सी फाइनल एग्जाम टॉपिक दैट इज फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ साइकोन साइफा आर्म स्पॉन्स फर्टिलाइजेशन इन केस ऑफ साइफा साइकोन एज वी नो द एनिमल इज मोनाइशियस द एनिमल इज हार्मेफ्रोडाइट इट इज बाई सेक्सुअल इट मीन्स बहुत गैमेट्स एग्स एंड स्पम्स That process formation of oogenesis and spermatogenesis occurs inside the same body. But here, in case of cypha, cross fertilization takes place because the animal is protogynous. It means female gametes, eggs, ova mature earlier as compared to sperms. The egg after maturation. After ovulation, the egg that always rests on the conodum of the radial canal. After formation of an ovum, it remains inside the same body. ये देख रहे बच्चों, the mature ovum that rests. कहाँ बच्चों? Conodum. This one is outer layer pinacodum. This is mesenchyme. and this layer is conoda it is lining of radial canal this mature ovum rests and waits for its sperm for fertilization mature sperms after formation of spermatogenesis the mature sperms are released and these are carried via outgoing water and these sperms of one spons enters in the body of another spons through incoming water current it means in this animal cross fertilization takes place pyare bachcho and this process fertilization occurs inside the sponge body it means it is in situ fertilization In situ fertilization, the process in situ, not down, means fertilization. This process takes place inside the sponge body. क्या कहा मैंने? Mature ovum that rests on this conodum of radial canal. The sperms which enter in the body of a sponge, they reach in radial canal, and the sperms. are carried to this ovum either by these amebocytes or bachcho conocytes humne kaha the sperms are carried via either amebocytes of mesenchyme or conocytes of conoda any cell it may be an amebocyte or a conocyte that receives a sperm and spores this one is conocyte and this conocyte receives a sperm ye dekh rahe bachcho this conocyte in its sperm enters and this conocyte having flagella as well as collar both flagellum gets disappeared as well as the cell withdraws its collar and this cell means this conocyte which carries a sperm that becomes very important very important for final exam show type question that becomes a transit cell t r a n s i t transit cell or carrier cell of sperm because it carries the sperm to a mature ova bachcho ye dikh rahe sara structure this is a mature ova this is conoda in which this conocyte it receives a sperm and after 
entry of sperm inside the conocyte or it is a transit cell or it is a carrier cell. The sperm loses its tail. Sperm that is a motile structure. Hamnika after its entry inside this, this conocyte or transit cell, it loses its tail. And the head of sperm that becomes enlarged, that becomes swollen. And this entire structure, this sperm becomes almost rounded and it is surrounded by a capsule. This mature ovum, it develops a conical depression, cavity develops. Through this conical depression or cavity, this entire structure means a sperm along with head and capsule. It enters in an ovum to complete the process of fertilization. As a result, both nuclei, the nucleus of ovum and the nucleus of sperm, they fuse to produce a diploid nucleus, a diploid cell that is zygote. And the fusion of both nuclei, this nucleus of ovum and nucleus of sperm, the process is amphimixis. And the resultant cell is zygote, which is diploid. Next question for BSc student, BSc students, after zygote formation, this diploid body, this fertilized egg, it is surrounded by the adjacent, the neighboring amoebocytes. And this entire structure becomes a brood capsule. A mature ovum. And mature ovum always rests on conodum. The sperms of another sponge body which enters via incoming water current. The sperms are carried either these amoebocytes or conocytes. This sperm enters in a conocyte. The conocyte acts as a transit cell. It acts as a carrier cell because it carries the sperm to an ovum. And this conocyte loses its flagellum as well as it, it withdraws collar. And this sperm, after its entry inside this, this transit cell, it gets surrounded by a capsule. It loses its tail and its head of sperm becomes enlarged. This ovum develops a depression cavity and through this cavity, the sperm, the sperm enters inside an ovum. The process of fertilization completes and this entire process that is fertilization, amphimixis that occurs inside the sponge body. That's why fertilization is in situ. Now, after fertilization, the zygote gets surrounded by, by amoebocytes. And these amoebocytes and this zygote develops a brood capsule. Next process, development or embryogeny of psychoncypha. Another important topic, another important topic for complete full questions, full marks. Development of cypha. It means this zygote, it is a diploid cell. This is a single cell structure. And this single cell structure undergoes, in development, it undergoes cleavages. Cleavage means this zygote, that single cell zygote, undergoes repeated several mitotic divisions. As a result, this single cell zygote is converted, it is transformed into a multicellular body that is blastula. That is a blastula and the blastula is surrounded by a single layered blastomeres. But you the process? Cleavage. Cleave karne bacho. Usko tod re, break up karne. Isko, the single cell zygote. First cleavage. 
and first cleavage is always holoblastic. Holoblastic means complete breakdown of the zygote, but it is unequal. It means resultant two cells are unequal blastomeres. Larger is macromere and smaller one is micromere. And this first division is first cleavage is not down competition students. It is always vertical. It is always meridional. This second cleavage also vertical meridional. As a result, four cell stage develops. And third cleavage also vertical meridional. It means first three cleavages are vertical meridional. As a result, of three cleavages, this single celled zygote that converts into eight cell stays. And the fourth cleavage, the Krebacho, that is that is not Krebacho, fourth cleavage is equatorial horizontal. As a result, 16 cell stays embryo develops, but these 16 cells are arranged in two groups, two tiers. In upper part, smaller blastomeres, micromeres are arranged, and in this lower region, macromeres are arranged. Perevacho, next lecture may complete karenge sara sab kuch, uska larva, amphiblastula, kalke lecture may discuss karenge. Thank you.